Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. It seems like I wear the same thing every day, but I don't. <laughs> well, I wear the same jacket sometimes. I've got my flannel on because it's cold outside. Oh, I can just feel the cold air getting to me out here at times. So I'm working in my December daily and I've got the prompts from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. Uh, I was looking at what I've already done. The first day I added a black and white photo and I want to show you something that I've done with that. It's funny, I did not, did not notice the thing about the butterflies until I looked later, but I did add a butterfly to this image yesterday so i'm going to consider that the second and the first now for today for the third um i think one of the things i want to incorporate for sure is um using my own handwriting where did i see that hello oh add your own handwriting so I'm going to check this off and I'm going to put the date 12-3. I can't believe it's December 3rd already. I have a few things pulled out because I wanted to show you something. I turned this mitten around so that the dark green thread is not showing and I still want to make some of these for subsequent pages. In this, or on this picture I should say, I poured out a little bit of this distress paint in the brushed pewter last night and used a tiny little paintbrush to paint around the edge and I think it's pretty it's kind of shiny I took one of my butterfly die cuts and added it to the page now this is the image I had printed and you know I wrote at the top hold that thought it did that looked a little sloppy to me I was in kind of a mood yesterday as you know uh, but I cut that photo down and put it in this envelope that it's a CD envelope that I distressed with the coffee mixture. So let me bring that up here. And even to this, I added some of the distress paint. And I love the way that looks. Uh, I painted the back and the front so it felt kind of wet and this was getting wet too. So I just folded a paper towel to stick inside of this and let it dry overnight. This is a Christmas card that I just love. I think it looks so old. Um, it's just a, just a Christmas card. So I put the entries from the first and the second inside there. They're kind of hidden away and I used a Tim Holtz clip to clip that into place so that I can put that in the pocket and the cat is peeking out. And then I have my entry. Uh, because I like to have a journal that I can write in. I, I, I have art journals and I have writing journals. And then I have just uh, art journals that I make that are themed or just, you know, inspired by something. And then a whole book is built up around that. But I do like to be able to write. I'm going to try some things. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I want something else on this fabric. And I think I'm going to add... I might add some stamping, but I feel like it's going to have to be with alcohol ink. Not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm going to just pour some in the top there, and it dries really fast, so you have to work kind of fast with alcohol ink. And of course, I didn't have a towel ready when I poured that out. And then this is a pretty, uh, this is a magnolia stamp, and I don't really want the whole Thing, I don't think I don't know that I want the word magnolia showing but I think the flower itself can look really Christmassy and I might regret putting this black down if I do I will cover it up with something else I just want to see how this looks and you don't know unless you try so I'm kind of going over everything except see if this will take There's so much on the front of there I want to make sure that I okay it didn't do anything so I feel like what we're gonna need to do is um, 
let's wet it a little bit and see that alcohol ink does dry so fast but it looks like something's on there we're not going to give up might even take some of this let's see what this does not the effect I wanted, but that's okay. I was really hoping we would get, get a little more from it. Part of it's that fabric. I think that fabric is just very repellent. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna give up on that. It did give us a little bit of an outline and it's kind of grungy, so we're gonna leave that for now. And that did not work out, but again, if you don't try something, you don't really know what's gonna happen. I do wanna see, um, I do wanna just check. To see what it gives us if we put it on paper with what I had on there. that's pretty so I'll save that and we'll use that a little bit later let's lay it back there to dry and I will go ahead and clean that off a little bit all that pretty ink That's a pretty color. It really is. Of course, it's not all coming off. And that makes me wonder um, hmm, a lot of things. I'm always wondering a lot of things. So, uh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I really want to stamp the back of this with something. Maybe I can, let's try again. All right, let's do Let's see if the alcohol ink works on that paper. So here we go again. I love alcohol ink so much. I really, really like having it. And you know what? I think I'm gonna dip that in the coffee stain as well so that we've got, and then I think Get some of that excess out of there. Let's see what this does. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, I was worried about those bubbles, but it looks like they're going to just kind of calm down and settle. So I'm going to put that to the side to dry as well. to the side. And that, and then we'll put the stamp to the side. And there. So we'll come back with, to this with our card in a minute. Another thing I wanna add to the front, let's get a piece of string piece of thread, I should say. So I'm just going to stitch this by hand. Come on now. This is kind of a big needle. It's probably really too big for this, but it's okay. I just want a really simple hand stitch all the way around this square to keep it in place. And this is a way to add things too after you've put something together because obviously it would not be very easy, if even possible, to put this under 
from the needle of the sewing machine. And I'm so excited. My new bobbin case should be here tomorrow. I love these, um, the primitive looking hand stitching. Come on. If you're using a large needle, it can be hard to, to pull it through. That's my own fault. I'm too lazy to get up and get a smaller one. So there we have both ends of the string out, and let's just tie this. I'm just going to tie that in a knot. That's not a piece I want really long and kind of hanging all over the place. But you know what? I might put a tiny, tiny, tiny little drop of glue on there because it'll dry clear and it looks to me like that wants to untie. off of there so you can't even see it and that'll keep that from coming loose all right so that's done and look at that oh my gosh that's really really pretty I love the way that stamp turned out um, it's still drying I'm not gonna put it in the pocket yet and we have the butterfly my journal entry is in here I've been trying to decide for the third if I want to go to this page or if I want to go to the back because I've learned working in journals that it can start to get, it can bend. Like as you get so much on this side, you're constantly pushing this way with the journal. And I don't know, I just feel like it might be more even to work from each side. Speaking of butterflies though, look at this gorgeous page I found today while going through some things. I need to check on the copyright for that and see how old that is. I'm working on some kits that I should have in the shop really soon. Uh, let's see, there's a little butterfly that I took from a, an old dictionary page. And I wanna add this, I think. That will be my second butterfly on that page. And I thought about, since it's only part of the butterfly, I don't know if I wanna tuck it under there or have it here and make it really sturdy to be a tab. I don't know if I want two tabs on that page either. Let's move that and put that back. I kind of like that there. And then that could also go right on the picture. I kind of like that. It's also pretty on that. Let's put it on that. Hopefully that'll stay on there. If not, I will add a um, a different a different glue.
Okay, I've been sitting here thinking, do I want to add the date to each page? And that's probably dry enough to put in now. And maybe if I put it in there, the fabric will help this to lay flat. So let's put that in there for right now, and we might come back to that. Uh, I've got this really fun little, I love this. So this is just paper that's been stapled around several or quite a few pieces of yarn. It's a sample, it says heavy chained yarn, plain and multicolored, three, four, and six ply, 615 per pound, west of the Mississippi. Some shades available on three to four pound cones only. And I just think that's really pretty. It reminds me of all the crafts and things that we do at Christmas time, like when kids are little. I feel like I want to have this in here. Got a pocket here. I wonder if there is a way to... I just like it. I really do. I want to put just a few little spots of staining on that. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and add that to the page. And you know what? Hmm. Well, I was thinking about stapling that, but there's really not a way. And I'm okay, honestly, with just gluing it to the page. So let's put, oh, good job. I got glue on the top. So let's sit that there for right now. And I think to really hold it better, I'm gonna get a little bit of this paper tape. So let's turn that over. Take this off for right now. I got a little bit too much. And let's wet that. This paper tape really sticks. I think it's used for packaging. And, uh, let's just put that right over the top there, and that'll hold that into the place into place really nicely. So that's me. I like I like a little bit of junk from time to time, as in junk journal, and. Let's put this back up here. We've got our butterfly. So then uh, I'm probably going to add some more to this. If, if you've watched some of my older videos when I work on a journal, like the big Christmas journal from 2018, I love to go through and then go back over and over again to every page and just keep adding. Um, you will keep seeing things that you can add and by the time you're done, it's just it's just beautiful. I mean, it really is to have all of those layers there. For this page, you know, I know one of the things that I've been wanting to do. Um, let me get one of my little R2. And let's get, even though this has got, okay, this has got some of the coffee in it, but I want to get this ink to run. And maybe we'll give 
her eyes some of this brown too. And then go over here to just the water. Let me get my little brush. It's too much water in her mouth. That's okay. Because this is art. And we can fix it. So let's have that be. red for Christmas. Have you noticed how everything you add changes the look of, of a face? And something I really want to do, let me get out some white paint. That made me think of that song by, let's see, is it Jimmy? Jimmy and Stevie Ray Vaughan, white boots. Oops, I don't think they got to play a lot together before Stevie Ray died. I had decided to play together. Whoa, white boots. Now, let's see. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm going to stop. So I have Christmas is a time of love. And we have some artwork. The entry that says use some of your own handwriting. So there's that. And I probably will add more to all of this. But that's where we are for the first, second, and third. So I'll try to remember to tag Barbara. I'm terrible about the Instagram thing. But Barbara, thank you so much for doing this. And I don't like to waste anything. So let's come back with this white paint and just put that there. If it goes onto the other pages, I love it when that happens because that means we'll have little spots of paint on the next pages. And we'll just put the rest down right here. There we go. So we'll be doing more with this later. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm putting together some really neat packs. So I will be back really soon. And uh, bye for now.